In the last video, I challenged you to write a program that would have your robot drive forward instead of turn. And you can accomplish this by setting both of your drive motors uh, to the same power, then waiting some time, and then turning both motors off by setting their powers to zero. And all that needs to be written inside of task main. You may be wondering, uh, these two slashes uh, with green lettering after it are my comments, my notes to help me remember what the program does. Let's download it and try it out. And you can see the robot drill forward. Another useful way for working with drive motors is to synchronize them. So if you go under motors and variables, you'll see n synced motors. Synchronization means that you are going to have these motors work together. Uh, just as a reminder, you can double click on the uh, variables and functions on the left hand side and it will bring up the help menu for that uh, variable or function. I even have some sample code which I'm going to copy and insert into the top of my program and I'll discuss it here. The first line says that we want to sync the motors B and C meaning that B will be in charge because it's first, and that C will be its slave and do whatever B is telling it to do. The second line is setting the turn ratio. In this case, we're setting the turn ratio as 100 or 100%. 100 meaning that C is 100% the same or equal to what B will do or has for a power. Now our synchronization is set up, we need to give instructions to our motor B and because they're being given to motor B, they'll also be given to the slave motor C. So let's turn motor B on by giving it a power of 100 just like we did before. Then we'll wait for three seconds with the wait one millisecond function. And then after that, we will tell uh, motor B to stop by giving it a power of zero, which will also turn off its slave, motor C. Now I tried to download it, and as you can see, there was an error. So let's look at the error panel, and it'll tell us where the errors are. It says that there's an undefined variable, sync, BC, meaning it doesn't know what that is. And the real problem is that it's a spelling error. There was a typo in the help and that there should actually be an H after the S, Y, N, C because it's coming from the word synchronized and synchronize is spelled with an H. Now that I fixed it, I'm going to download it and you'll see that it did work this time and the robot drives forward. Now let's try making it so that the robot will drive backwards. We'll continue to use the synchronized motor setup. So we will give motor B a power of 100, but not just 100, negative 100, so that it will go in reverse. And C is still a slave, so it will copy the behavior of motor B. The motor will need some time to run, so I'm going to copy the code for waiting three seconds and put it there after that. And then we'll want to turn those motors off after the three seconds. So I can tell motor B to have a power of zero, and I will turn both motors off. All right, let's download it and test it out, see if it works. See if it drives forward and then backward. Good. All 
Alright, so we know how to drive forward and backward using synchronized motors. How can we make our robot turn? Well, that's going to involve changing the turn ratio. One way we could do it is having B drive and then C not drive at all. That would force us to turn. So let's try using a turn ratio of zero, meaning C will not run at all. Then we can turn on motor B and give it a power of 100 or 75 or whatever we want. And it will not turn on motor C. Even though C is its slave, it will not turn on C because it has a turn ratio of 0. It's 0% 0 of B. Then I'm going to wait, let's say, half a second, which is 500 milliseconds. And then I'll turn motor B off by setting its power to 0. All right, let's download it, try it out. So we see the robot drives forward, then it drives backwards, and then it turns. So let's review what we've been doing before we do one last uh, step in our program. First, We've set which motors are synchronized and working together. That was sync BC. The B is the main motor and C is the slave. Then we set the relationship between the master and slave by setting the turn ratio. And in the beginning ones, we used a turn ratio of 100, meaning that the C motor was going to do exactly what the B motor was doing. Then we set the motors to drive like we were before by setting motor B and its power. Finally, to make it turn, that is where we change the relationship between the master motor B and its slave C by changing its turn ratio. You could do 50%, you can do all sorts of things, but to make a very sharp turn, you could change the turn ratio to negative 100, meaning that C is going to go the same power, but in the opposite direction of motor B. Then we'll wait for some time after I turn the motors on, and then I will stop the motors. So we should see more of a turn than we did before because the wheels will be going in opposite directions. All right, let's download it and test it out. Let's see, the robot drives forward, backs up, and turns even more than it did before. 